Hello friends, welcome to the video series on SQL PL SQL questions for online exams and certifications. So many times when we see the question in the online exams, the question look very simple, but when we see the options given, it, it looks really little bit confusing. So here is one such question. So we have a create sequence script, which is going to start the sequence from 50 and it is going to increment each sequence by 10 and the max value it can reach is 100 and it is a cyclic sequence. So given this create sequence script, if you're going to generate the sequence, the first value it is going to generate is 50. So for every call, it is going to increment by 10. So the subsequent call is 60, then 70, then 80, then 90, then 100. Okay, now that it has reached 100. Now if we call the next val function, what would be the output? So this is the question. So here are the possible options. So I would suggest you to pause this video at this stage and read through the question and think what would be the right answer here. Fine. So before seeing the right answer, let us understand what these parameters will do. So when we create the sequence like this, obviously the first time when we call the sequence, it will start with 50. So since we have in mentioned that incremented by 10, the subsequent call will start generating by incrementing by 10. So the next call would generate 60. So the next chord would generate 70, the next chord would be like 80, the next is like 90, the next is like 100. So by the time it reached 100, the immediate next call would generate 1 because there is an optional parameter called minimum value. If you have not mentioned any minimum value, then the default minimum value it will take is the 1. Since it has reached 100 and we have mentioned it as a cyclic sequence, the immediate next thing will get generated is 1. So the immediate next chord would increment from 1 by 10. So the next would be like 11. Then the next subsequent call would be like 21, 31, 41, 51, 61, 71, 81, 91. The moment it reaches 91, then it will try to increment by 10, but it will exceed 100. So the next generation would be 1 and this will keep on going in a sequence. So this is about the learning from this script. Let us slightly change this script to include a min val parameter here. So now we will see what would be the output. So obviously the first time when we call it will generate like 50. The subsequent call would generate like 60. The next card would generate 70. The next would be like 80, the next is like 90, the next is like 100. The moment it reaches 100, now this will restart the sequence from 50 because this minimum value and the starting value is one and the same here. So based on our need, we can use all these parameter. So obviously the output for this question or the right answer for this question is one. Okay, so the key learning from this video is about understanding the start with parameter, increment para parameter, minimum value parameter and max value parameter. And the key thing here, it is a cyclic sequence. If you have learned something new, please like this video, subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video, interview question, SQL practical question, concept videos. If you want any questions to be answered, you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail ID. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Please click the bell icon if you want to receive instant notification whenever new videos are uploaded into this channel. Thank you.